Hey folks, only today I had a young mother call me and she said, Kirk, my son has the inquisitive nature of his father, but he has my mouth. And so he's always asking me why this and why that. And she said, sometimes some of his questions I don't really have an answer for other than well, that's just the way it is. And how easy it is throughout life to just do what's always been done the way it's always been done without asking, well, why do we do it that way? I remember the old story growing up of a, a mother who always cut the end of the ham off before putting it to the pan and put it into the oven to cook. And her daughter would watch her uh, meal after meal, cut that ham off, put it into the pan, put it into the oven, until one day the young daughter became a mother. And like her mother before her, she was cutting off the end of the ham, put it into the pan, and put it into the oven. Her daughter now said, well, Mom, why do you always cut off the end of the ham? Well, the mother said, well, honey, that's the way your grandmother always did it. And so I just do what she has done. Well, the little girl, that wasn't enough. She said, well, why did grandma do it that way? And the mother just didn't know. She said, I don't know, it was to help cook more evenly or help keep the juices in somehow. And so she called her mom and said, mom, why did you always cut the end of the ham off before putting it into the pan? And the mom said, well, honey, it's just because the ham did not fit my pan. There wasn't a real reason other than the practical benefit of fitting into the pan. And how often we do things without thinking them through, without asking the why. Over the years, I've really enjoyed when people ask me, Kirk, why do you homeschool? Because more often than not, they've never thought through why they public school. And so I will challenge them. I said, well, I'll be more than happy to answer that question if you'll tell me why you public school from a biblical point of view. And you can tell there's a blank look in the eye. They've never thought that through. And folks, when it comes to education, education is so very important. Understand, education is one thing. Schooling is something completely else. else. Why do we educate like we do. And I'm not just talking about public school versus private school versus homeschool. Even for you homeschoolers, why do you homeschool like you do? Do you just default to just a, a purely academic standard imitating the public school though doing it at home, which I think has some benefits? Or is there a more transcendent purpose to education? Perhaps like to prepare our kids for this life as well as the life to come. Those, that vision is the ICHE vision, what we call home discipleship. And that's the vision we that hope that you will catch on to. Because homeschooling is so much more than just laying books and textbooks out in front of our kids. It's doing life together. Because life should be one big field trip. So today I encourage you to catch the vision, the ICHE vision of home discipleship. This is Kirk Smith with ICHE's Take 5.